Welcome back to Crazy Days Crew. I'm Laura and you are watching Thursday Threads. Last time we worked on this flower block and we learned and worked on the half rectangle triangles that are the leaves and also part of the petals. So here and here. But, I don't know if you remember, but I said I'd heard about a ruler that uh, was supposed to help and definitely on my wish list. Well, who has the most wonderful husband in the world? That's right, I do. Because we ordered it. And it's awesome. So don't go away. We'll be right back and we will start working on this. Just to refresh, we cut our, our rectangles uh, four and a half by seven and three quarters the, for the tulip block, and we drew our line from corner to corner on one of them, and then we kind of scatty wadded here because if you put them flat on top of each other, you're going to get like a, a kite. Not what we're wanting. Maybe later we'll play with those. But for this time, we sewed a quarter inch seam on either side of our line, and then we cut our line, pressed them open. No big deal, right? And we came up with something like this. And these were some I had done last week. Um, but I hadn't squared them up. So let's square them up using the Deb Tucker Split Rex ruler. So it feels a little backwards to me because I, I want to do it this way. But you're going to want to do it uh, landscape, horizontal. We've got some lines. And then we have our block sizes here. So one, one and a half, two, three, or uh, two and a half, three, so on and so forth. And then we've got our length this way. Okay. Remember, our final piece should be three and a half by six and a half. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to match this up onto our seam line. And I'm going to bring it down about right there. So you see that six and a half inch line right there? I'm still inside the six and a half by three and a half inch line for my block. Holding it firmly down. I'm going to trim the side and along the top. I'm going to have to redo this. And then we're going to do the other way. So, but this time we're going to right, let it ride along the three and a half by six and a half inch line. My angle is on the seam. And hey, if you've got troubles, just rotate your mat. Ta -da! I missed just a smidge. So let's get that. If you look right here, there's a little cross here because it's showing you your quarter inch seam line. That cross here tells us that if we do a quarter inch seam, that point is going to go right into the corner. Same thing this way. That point, that cross here is right there on that seam. Do it again? Let's do it again. This time we've got one that's going the other way. But guess what? It doesn't matter. You can do it either way because these angles go both ways. So, again, let's get the 
the angle right on that seam line and let's make sure our top and sides and bottoms are within the six and a half by three and a half. We're going to cut and we're going to cut. Have I told y'all I really like this rotating mat? This is awesome. And we're going to do it again. Let's match up six. So this side's to our six and a half. This side is to our three and a half. Our line is right on the seam line. Good to go. And then the side. And we have got a beautiful three and a half by six and a half. So this is letting me know, and there are multiple sizes for you to be able to do. This was a very good purchase. I'm very pleased. And I'm looking forward to making some more, uh, some more tulips. But there's more that you can do. When you're using this, okay, so you can, uh, you can do all kinds of things. Okay, this is one I'd done earlier. So you can do some chevrons. You can do where you've got a line going. So you could playing with your colors for however you want to. So this really opens up a lot of options. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Be sure to check out in the description down there. We have a uh, link so that you can find this. I'm very happy with this. And this is going to open up a lot of possibilities for me. If this is your first time watching, be sure to subscribe right down there. Turn that from red to gray. And uh, don't forget to come back. Like, comment, be sure to share. Uh, if you've got some friends who are having trouble with the half rectangle triangle or the split rec. Hope y'all having a great day. Happy sewing and we will see you next time right here on Crazy Dave's Crew.